Hello, and welcome to another 8-minute demo. Today we'll be talking about the Opalis product overview. My name is Charles Joy. I'm a field management TSP specializing in Opalis. We're going to be covering the following agenda items. Essentially, where does Opalis fit in, what does it do, and how are customers using it today? So where does Opalis fit within System Center? Well, you see here a very familiar wheel with the System Center products going around it. So we have products that will satisfy each of the compartments of this wheel, from incident and change management all the way through backup, disaster, and recovery. But you don't yet see Opalis in this. So where does Opalis live? Well, we see Opalis there in the right-hand corner, rising sun as it is. And we see it move in behind and intermingle within each one of the products, bringing automation, orchestration, and integration. This is providing the System Center suite of products further integration between each other, but more importantly, the ability to automate and orchestrate various tasks with and between the different System Center products. Now, pre-acquisition, Opalis also was touted for its heterogeneous data center model. That hasn't changed at all. In fact, the story doesn't change for Opalis, whether we have Operations Manager down the lower left-hand corner, or HP OVO. In fact, we, if you don't have Service Manager, maybe you have Remedy. The story stays the same for Opalis. So what does Opalis do? Well, it brings IT Process Automation, ITPA, or Runbook Automation, RBA, to the table for the System Center suite of products and the data center as a whole. So what is ITPA or RBA? Well, it's the ability to orchestrate and integrate IT management tools through workflow. What does this do? Well, it helps you meet strategic IT goals through improved service delivery, replaces many manual resource of intensive or error prone activities, as well as typically cross multiple components, disciplines, and silos. So how are customers using Opalis today? Well, there's three major solution areas that we see. Incident management, virtual machine lifecycle management, and change and configuration management. For incident management, we're talking about end-to-end -end incident remediation, maybe closed loop remediation, where we can monitor for alerts in Operations Manager, cut a ticket in a ticketing system, whatever that might be, perform some triage, maybe do some false positive checking. We would then perform some remediation tasks and then move on to close out the incident and close out the alert. The only time we would ever get a person involved is if possibly something went wrong with the process and the automation couldn't handle it or it needed to be escalated. For virtual machine lifecycle management, we're talking about the provisioning and decommissioning of virtual machines. This can also extend to bare metal provisioning and decommissioning. For change configuration management, we're talking about all of those uh, change management processes that you may have that you have to assign to people. Well, once they're approved, Opalis can take them, run them, and um, close out the, 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 the change management request, and you won't have to, to take care of any of those manual tasks ever again. So what are some example data center automation use cases? I'll give you the opportunity now to pause this and take a look at a few. Now we're going to take a look at an incident triage process as it exists for a customer today uh, manually. So we have a resource here. His job is to watch the monitoring solution. So he does that all day. And lo and behold, a, monitoring, uh, a monitor kicks off and an alert is found. He's got uh, a clock started for his SLA, and he's got to take this through to completion. So the first thing he does is reach out to the infrastructure team to see if they have any inf information for him. They give him some information back, but it doesn't solve the problem. They say, talk to the tested diagnostics folks. So he goes ahead and does that right after he opens up a service desk ticket with information. The tested diagnostics folks give him some more information saying, hey, it's uh, servers adrift. You need to have the change configuration people patch it. Uh, so go ahead and reach out to them. So he updates that in the service desk and then goes ahead and reaches out to change config people. They're able to... Um, perform that action, create the patch and deploy it. And so he updates that in the service desk, but now he has to um, finish some paperwork. So you can see the clock is getting down to the wire there. So he goes ahead and updates the service desk, second service desk he has, syncs it with the sec first service desk, and then finally is able to close up the alert. You can see where uh, some latency 
uh, or any errors may have um, caused bigger problems with timing here. So what does that look like with automation? Well, the same scenario. We have um, a monitoring system, but this time Opalis is monitoring that monitoring system and will take all the actions that the pre people were previously taking. Now you can see the people are now available. The time is not clicking by. Uh, it's not taking as much time, obviously. Maybe it'll take about five minutes to run the entire thing. But what you will see here is that Opalis is handling all those tasks automatically and keeping all those data bits coming from those disparate sources um, on that data bus and then performing actions across those integration points to those uh, disparate products. Essentially cre doing the same exact thing without the use of people. So the following is a listing of the Opalis integration packs. I'll give you a chance to pause this and take a look. Let's take a look at the Opalis components. At a very high level, these are the Opalis integration server components. We, in the middle, we have a uh, data store, which stores all the configuration, workflows, and logic. On the left, we have two UIs, the workflow designer and the operator console. Both have the ability to execute workflows, but only the workflow designer has the ability to add, edit, and create. On the right-hand side, we see uh, a series of action servers. These are what actually run, and run the processes, uh, take that workflow, and then execute all the steps within that workflow. You don't need uh, four, you don't need ten, you need as many as you need, they scale out horizontally, but um, you need at least one that will go ahead and agentlessly perform those actions, maybe authenticate, perform the action, close the connection, move on, and so on and so forth. So at a very high level, these are the Opalis components. So why Opalis? Well up to this point, we hope we've convinced you that IT process automation can reduce costs, simplify management, and optimize resources. But Opalis allows you to do that through the following. Multi-vendor integration with no rip and replace or vendor lock-in. While we would think it's great that you have um, all Microsoft products in your data center, we know that's um, not uh, the case in many, uh, in many data centers, though it may be growing. So, a palace is there to help you link up those non-Microsoft products and Microsoft products or anything you have in the data center so you have an end-to-end -end integration automation orchestration um, solution on one platform and that would be Opalis. We offer pre-built activities and workflow processes to speed up time to value. And in fact these are currently available on TechNet, the Opalis TechNet um, blog site. We offer that publish and subscribe data bus to share data and initiate tasks within silos. That allows us to easily pass data from one object to the next, uh, from one disparate system to the next, without programming or scripting or anything. It's built in. The configuration of the workflows is done without coding or scripting at all. If you do have code or script and you want to do it, we certainly allow that capability, but it is not a requirement. And finally, the workflows can be built to be quote-unquote intelligent with rule-based branching meaning you can do all your decision making graphically within the workflows and you don't have to do any programming or anything like that. So there is a related demonstration for this and it's actually a video so if you go to my blog at that address there and check out the 8 minute demo System Center Opalis Incident Remediation you'll be able to see a live demonstration of the Opalis product in action. We certainly appreciate you watching. Thank you.